but we're in the simulation. Um, right now we are playing as Hannibal. Um, generally we're going to approach it the way Hannibal did, which was to... Uh, the way he did it was he had this slight bulge, actually you can kind of see it here in the default placement a little bit. Um, was that he would bulge out his troops and then they would slowly come back and make a little semicircle and start enveloping. Um, unfortunately, the game doesn't really support that super well, so what we're going to try to do is start out with this with a kind of a bowl shape and just funnel the Romans in, and uh, then we'll bring our cavalry in around the sides and around the back uh, to try to hopefully make the Romans uh, rout and to uh, cause a big problem for them. But what I'm trying to do now is just to try to harass the infantry line because there's so many of them we need to take every advantage we can get so to try to thin their numbers before they get there um, now you can see the left side cavalry that that's victorious uh, we lost a couple of people and again I'm trying to position them around the flanks so this way they can come in and encircle um, while hopefully holding the line that's why I'm again just trying to thin their numbers um, a little bit and try to hold the line uh, you can actually see a nice little close-up of these missiles. And as you go into the Roman army, you can see they're holding up their scutum to try to hold off the uh, incoming missiles um, somewhat successfully. Uh, now you can see the Romans are starting to charge in, so what I'm going to do is actually take a pause because they moved a little fast for me, uh, and move back my missile units so that they're not getting attacked, and to instead, this way, the legions engage our front line, um, which they will. So as you can see here, I'm maneuvering a little bit again to try to make it as contained as possible. Um, I don't want them wrapping around my sides at all. Uh, that would be very bad. That would be the opposite of what we want. Um, otherwise, we fall into the very problem we're trying to cause them. Uh, And as you can see, again, uh, they're fighting away. This is going to take a while. So now I'm like, okay, we're, we're in there. They're, they're holding the line. Now my cavalry, it's my cavalry's turn to try to make a difference here. So what we're going to do is we're going to directly wrap around the back a bit um, just to try to shock them into uh, routing. Um, in this game, as you probably noticed, uh, routing is when you can see them routing when uh, the unit's flag is going blinking white, um, that's how you know that a uh, unit is routing. Um, I'm trying to spread out my cavalry here to the places where it would be most important. Uh, some of these are easy to do, but some of these are not. As again, we have that little clump over there that we're not really supposed to have. But war is messy. Um, Um, so you can kind of see here the cavalry crashing into the Black Island. You can kind of see the reaction of the Roman troops, and you can kind of see how they're just like almost completely enclosed, um, which is very problematic for the Romans. As you can see, some of them, some of the flags are wavering. Um, We're still having an issue on this flank, so I'm going to actually make my extra cavalry come in. And again, this is a really good example of an effective cavalry charge. Um, and again, you can see the result here of 
big thing and now you can see look at that three units are like getting nervous and trying to route um, which is very good for us uh, very much as what happened in uh, the actual battle was things kind of went downhill quickly for the Romans although it was a little slow because of the infantry battles as you can see that the legions um, all panicked and ran at least those who could get away uh, Hannibal was a bit more effective with his tactics um, he was able to again he used this the tactic that we used which was to try to envelop the Roman army and he did so much more effectively than I did but uh, it can give you an idea of the scale of how many Romans were staring down these reasonably few infantry troops and how he was able to manage to get them to hold the line long enough for the cavalry to come in and to uh, to envelop truly envelop the army and, and really it was a slaughter for the Romans um, the actual numbers of the casuals of the casualties on the Roman side were between 50,000 and 70,000 uh, troops that is absolutely massive that is well over half the army um, even on the low ball there. Um, Hannibal comparatively actually only lost about 6,000 troops. But uh, yeah, that was the Battle of Cannae. Um, very interesting battle, brilliant tactics on Hannibal's part. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.